while hiding underground with the back. Communicado burns down the Continental and has Karen put to death as retribution. The Marquis then hires Blind, ex-high table assassin Kane to assassinate his old buddy John under threat of killing Kane's daughter. John seeks safety in his buddy Shimazu Koji's hotel, the Osaka Continental. Shidi, the Marquis's second-in-command, shows up to look into the hotel, supported by high-table killers and Kane. The hotel's concierge, Koji's daughter Akira, evacuates the building moments before the high-table deacon secretes it, setting in a brawl when Koji and his men defend John. A showdown between John and Kane is delayed by a bounty hunter named Winston de Greymont, a high table member, calls Winston, the general manager of the New York Continental, and Sharon, his concierge. The Marquis says that John Wick may be killed with no constraint on resources because to the high table. Winston receives criticism from him for failing to kill John, a the Marquis deprives Winston of his administrative responsibilities, proclaims him to be excommunicado, burns down the Continental, and has Sharon put to death as retribution. The Marquis then hires Blind, ex-high table assassin Kane, to assassinate his old buddy John under threat of killing Kane's daughter. John seeks safety in his buddy Shimazu Koji's hotel. The Osaka Continental. Chitty, the Marquis second in command, shows up to look into the hotel, supported by high table killers and Kane. The hotel's concierge, Koji's daughter Akira, evacuates the building moments before the high table deconsecrates it, setting in a brawl when Koji and his men defend John. A showdown between John and Kane is delayed by a bounty hunter named Mr. Nobody who helps John escape after deciding the reward for his death is inadequate. John battles past waves of armored assassins, leading to the showdown. On behalf of John, a wounded Koji assaults Kane repeatedly, grudgingly, Kane kills Koji while sparing Akira. When John gets back to New York, he runs into a furious Winston at Karen's tomb. Winston suggests that John use an antiquated high table custom to issue a dueling invitation to the Marquis. John may only ask for a battle on behalf of a criminal organization, but winning would release him from all commitments to the high table. He makes his way to the Ruska Roma Criminal Syndicate's Berlin headquarters to make a readmission request after severing his links with them. He asks his adopted sister Katia to assassinate Killa Harkan, a high table member who killed her father, in exchange for Katia agreeing to his request. At Killa's nightclub, John confronts him. Kane and Mr. Nobody help John fight off Killa's goons, in the end, John kills Killa and reclaims his position. Winston informs the Marquis of John's official challenge. Should John triumph, he demands that the New York Continental be rebuilt and that he be appointed manager once more. In a conference presided over by the Harbinger, an agent of the table, in Paris, John and the Marquis decide the terms of their dual duels with pistols at daybreak the next day at Saker Kerr. The Marquis nominates a hesitant Kane to fight in his place, should either fail to show up on time, John and Winston will be put to death. John receives a gun and a brand new ballistic suit from the Bowery King when he arrives in Paris. With a $26 million reward on John, the Marquis wants to keep him from getting to the combat in time. On his approach to Saker Kerr, John battles swarms of assassins, including Mr. Nobody, 
who arranges for the bounty to be raised to $40 million. When John intervenes to stop Chitty from murdering Mr. Nobody's dog, Mr. Nobody is so shocked that he gives up looking for John. They get to the peak just in time for the duel after helping John fend off multiple assassins, including Chitty, who Mr. Nobody ends